I was able to serve a mission here in Samoa. While I was serving here, I'd, anytime anyone died, you'd ask what it was. Always, almost always, it was ma'i de fatu, or like sickness of the heart. The primary cause for rheumatic heart disease is strep throat. So the purpose for rheumatic relief is to help countries that still struggle from rheumatic heart disease. As part of the rheumatic relief team here in Samoa, what we do is we go from school to school on the schools in Western Samoa, screening kids for rheumatic heart disease. We have the public health side of it, where we have a major health promotion angle. We have the clinical screening for rheumatic heart disease, and then we have the genetic research to find out why there's so much of it here. We'll give them a listening with a stethoscope. And then if they need it, we'll give them a comprehensive echo to see if they have rheumatic heart disease and get them the treatment they need. We're either in the classroom with the kids, singing songs that we've learned in Samoan, doing a puppet show we've learned in Samoan. The songs talk about rheumatic heart disease, specifically strep throat, and how it's really important for them to go to the doctor and to get proper treatment um, so that we can prevent rheumatic fever and then rheumatic heart disease. They're the reason like we're out here. You know, they are like some of the future and they are so happy and so loving and they deserve to be able to enjoy a healthy life. My personal opinion is if you can teach students why they do what they do other than to further their own personal needs, if they can see the eventual service that will come from their education, it motivates them to do well. They don't entirely know what we're doing, but they know we're helping them, and they're just so grateful for it. The people here were my family when I was uh, a missionary here, and being able to give back to them was something I always dreamed of, so. It means the world to me. That's all I can say. statement to say that lives are being saved while we're here. And they're children. It's children's lives. <laughs>